Put that. There you go. Oh my goodness. I just caught a freaking tank. Let's get our kayak launched here. Looking sweet. Get going here. All right, we're off at Dale Hollow. Let's go see if we can't find some fish for this tournament. How's it going today, everyone? Creek Crawler here. I am in Tennessee right now at Dale Hollow Lake, competing in the Paddle and Fin Annual Kayak Fishing Tournament. As you can see, I'm in my kayak, and I get to pre-fish today. Wind's blowing me off course. I get to pre-fish today. It's Friday, March. No, it's April 1st, April 1st on a Friday. So we're gonna test out some theories that I got, some ideas where I think the fish are gonna be. I'm gonna be targeting some points, some pre-spawn transition areas where these fish are gonna be coming up to spawn here. Seeing the water temps are 54 degrees. Looks great, stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can't catch some fish today, guys. Let's go. All right, before we get started, I'm gonna go over my gear. I got my 610 medium extra fast on a 2500 Daiwa Kage, 10 pound braid down to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm gonna throw the leech around a finesse worm targeting these points. Got a 1 6 ounce um, EWG hook on there. This is the Eclipse leech. I'm gonna throw some jerk baits and crank baits to do as crank baits today as well, just to try to find these fish and see what they're doing. I'm pretty sure they're on pre-spawn transition area. So we'll target those and see if we can't catch them. I just seen a nice bass under this dock. Stock. Let's see if they won't eat the leech. Man, there was a nice one over there too. It's like a four pounder. Hooked up. Oh, oh, I had the big one. I had the big one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so here's a couple good things. I got two fish off this dock that are willing to eat. So I'm not even gonna to try to catch them. I'm gonna save them for the tournament. But I'm gonna mark that spot in my Garmin. Actually, that back cove is where I was gonna be anyway, but it's a nice sheltered cove. No wind, no wake. So we'll come back tomorrow and hopefully we get those to bite in the morning. That'd be awesome. There we go. Oh my God. What is chasing my fish? What was that? Oh my God, I don't know if you guys could see that or not. Holy sh! Oh my goodness. That scared the crap out of me. I think it was a big muskie. But there we go. First little bass in practice. Oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. That scared the absolute crap out of me. It's not even a keeper, but at least we caught one during practice. That was probably a big muskie, I think. That was crazy. Right there on the eclipse leech. Dude, this dude almost got munched. Oh my goodness. Here you go, buddy. Oh, dang. Missed one. There's a muskie in here, right? Uh, a few, I think. You still getting one? No. On the other side, I, I caught a little bass like this big, and this big fish just came up the side of my kayak and tried to eat it. There's one. Oh. That's two in a row. Not having a hot day for sure. 
getting bit though. Water temp's nice back here. Hooked up. There we go. Oh no 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 no! Oh my goodness! I just caught a freaking tank. Whew. Look at that! Check that out! Freaking bruiser! And hail the Nico Leech. Alright, we'll get a measurement on this fish. Alright, let's get this fish on the board. Let's see what length. It's probably 17, 18 inch all day. 16 and 3 quarters. Alright, let's get a release on this nice fish. It's probably three pounder all day there she goes let's go all right we're going in the practice for the paddle on fin kayak tournament friday um i got an hour left of pre-fishing but i don't want to beat these fish up because i believe i found some spawning fish because i found a creek that's 60 degrees and i've hooked into a couple fish back here right off the bank so these large mouth are probably spawning back here. I just caught that nice, nice female full of eggs. Almost 17 inches, probably three pounds, three and a half pounds. It was a thick fish, awesome fish. But I'm gonna go get my kayak, put up, start charging all my batteries and come back out on the lake and I'll see you in the morning for the start of the tournament. Alrighty, it's day one of the tournament. I'm gonna go fish these creeks that I pre-fished and did okay at. Um, hooked in a couple fish, caught a couple fish. Seen some good activity in the water temps were Approaching 60 degrees some spots. It was 60 degrees. So I'm gonna go back in these creeks for day one of the tournament Wish me luck. Let's see if we can't catch a bass today guys. Let's go Hooked up. Yes! First bass of the day, right under a dock. Heck yeah. Check that out. That's a good one. Let's get it on the board. Right there on the Nico leech. Get the board wet. All right, we got a 16 inch bass. All right. Heck yeah. I seen him chilling up under those dock posts over there. He went after the leech. Heck yeah. Let's get a release on him. Here you go, buddy. Awesome, what a way to kick the day off. All right, let's get back out here and try to find some more bass. That was a nice one. If I catch four more of those, we'll be in good shape, I think. I'm gonna tie on a little swim bait. Just cruise this along the banks here. This is a little Mega Bass Spark Shad, like a three inch on an eighth ounce jig head. Let's see if we can't hook in any bass today. There we go, hooked up. Coming at me. Don't jump, buddy. Oh, there we go. I don't think he's going to be 12, but another fish nonetheless. Let's see, just in case. Nope. Nice little chubby 10 incher on the swim bait. There you go, buddy. Hooked up. 
littlest bass in Del Hollow. <laughs> Little baby guy. There you go, buddy. So far, we got three bass. Only one keeper, though. But they're they're active back here, so that's a good that's a good sign. Really good sign. I don't know if he's going to be 12, but there we go. Uh, he might keep. We'll see. On the leech. Let's see. All right, let's get the board out and wet it. I'm thinking he might be 12. All right, we got a 12 and a half, so he'll keep. All right, he's put in on the net. Let's get a release. There we go, 12 and a half, it's a keeper. Awesome, there you go buddy. Alrighty, a little update so far. I've caught four fish, two keepers, uh, 16 inch and 12 and a half are my keepers and I caught a couple 10, nine inchers. But so far, throwing this leech and cover has been the ticket. It was pretty good in practice. Hooked a couple fish, caught a couple fish in practice on the leech. Just finesse rigging around these around these trees on the bank and really getting down in there and just really lightly just pulling it through so I don't snag and I'll feel that thump and I'll just let them take it for a second and then hook them. So it's working out pretty good. Let's keep going here. We still have five hours, plenty of time left. I would love to get a lemon. It'd be really awesome. There we go. Little baby guy. Chill out, bub. There's number five for the day. Not a keeper, but we're catching. We're going to go to one of the points I was marking fish at during practice and drag the swim bait along the bottom. Um, I got a quarter ounce football jig head with a little uh, brush guard here to help us, hopefully, to prevent any snaggage. But I have a 3.8 inch. No, 3.3 inch swim impact, the smallmouth magic. We'll go drag that around and see if we can't get it hooked up with any smallies. Hooked up. This feels like a good fish. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh. No. He got off. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. That was almost a disaster. Whew. Check that out. That's another chunk. Look at that. Right there on that Kitek. Just slow rolling it on the bottom. Let's get this measurement on him. I, uh, my GoPro's messing up on me. Really nice fish. All right, we got a 17 and a half incher. Let's make catch. Submit to leaderboard. Catch submitted. All right, let's get a release on this beauty, beautiful, beautiful bass. Look at that. goes so long holy smokes guys I love when a plan comes together I was marking some fish off of this point in this cove area um, during practice but didn't really catch anything switched over to a swim bait and just just kind of slow rolling it around the, along the bottom and that 17 and a half just crushed it oh my god I'm so pumped this is awesome this is a great feeling 
let's keep it going let's get let's try to get a limit today all right with that 17 and a half that puts me in first place right now it's 11 a.m i got 46 inches with three fish let's keep it going Hooked up. There we go. Right off the point. Looks like another keeper at least. There we go. I think that'll keep. Right there on that Kitek, just drifting it along the bottom. They're smacking it. Alright, let's not try to lose this bass out here in the middle of the lake. Get some good pictures of them. Submit catch, paddle on fin, submit catch. All right, let's get him up here. I think it might go maybe 13. All right, we got a 13 and a quarter. 13 to five. Bass, okay. Submit catch, submit the leaderboard. Oh, chill out, buddy. In the net. All right, cool. Let's see where I'm standing at. I'm at second place behind Garrett Johnson from Tennessee. I'm at 59 and a quarter, and he's at 82 and a quarter. Awesome. Right off this point on the swim bait. Here you go, buddy. Alrighty, a little update so far. It's almost one o'clock, so we have a solid hour and 40 minutes to fish i got four fish currently right now at 59 and a quarter i believe just got one off this point on the kitek swim bait just dragging it along the bottom there might be a school of them out here so i'm gonna stick around see if i can't pick up another fish for my limit oh hooked up right over a log Oh no! Lost him. Dang. Dang it. That would have made our limit. That's a bummer. That was another 13 incher at least. Maybe even 14. Oh, what is that? What? What in the world? How does that happen? What is going on here? Why do I have three lines? Okay. Well, that's a rat's nest. Well, dang. I probably snagged that Kai Tech up. Okay. You go right there. Did you call a wind knot, I guess? Well, we had a pretty good valiant effort today. Ended up with four keepers with 59 and a quarter inches, I believe. Um, last time I checked the leaderboard, I was in top 10, so that's awesome. If I could come out of here with a top 10, I'd be super, super stoked and blessed to come away with the top 10 at Del Hollow. My first time in a kayak in a big lake, a, a lake of this caliber. Um, but no smallmouth today, all largemouth. I don't know. I might have to go to the main lake. I'm kind of staying back in these bays kind of sheltered away from all the big boats and that are doing 900 miles an hour. But I'm, I'm proud of myself for what I did. I lost a fish at the boat. That would have gave me 65 inches at least. It was a 14, 15 incher. Lost it, but hey, we stuck four good ones. Got them on the board. We'll put the results right here of day one and then I'll see y'all in the morning for day two.